All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be installing a regular radio. And by regular radio, I mean a regular radio. So, this guy opted for not using a dash kit and uh, it's actually gonna work out. Um, so, all you do to take this off, really, is you yoink on it from the middle. So you just grab this middle part right here, or from the side, and you just kinda pry it. Cause it's held on by these little rubbers here which I've never seen before, but those little rubbers, that's all that's holding this thing in place. And uh, that's literally it, okay? So, you unplug these three down here and you have one, two screws. That simple, okay? At least in mine it was that simple. There was probably two more down here, one, two. So you might need to take this part off to get that out. Matter of fact, now I have the radio right here and uh, it looks like it does not have that. So what I'm gonna do now is obviously solder their radio connector to this connector and uh, then we're gonna fit it over the top here uh, there is going to be a slight gap but he didn't mind so we're gonna go with the customer's way that's what he wants that's what he gets now it's a regular radio it's not an Android so if you guys want to install regular radios I highly suggest not doing this don't do this don't don't cut up don't fuck up don't mess up your original harness because this could cause problems for the future so don't mess with this wiring now you can but I just would ex no I'm just telling you not to it's it's better to not mess with those so just go to your local Walmart and get yourself for this car specifically there is a Ford Mustang right there 94 to 2000 but for whatever reason, I also saw a Ford Mustang right here, 2001 and 2003. So I don't know why it also has that in the back. But when I looked at a store, I only saw the front part. So it comes with all these extra adapters. Um, but what it looks like, these are all speaker wires. I'll tell you which ones they are. Gray, purple, white, and green. Those are all speaker wires. Okay, these are all your speaker wires. This is your power. This is your intermediate power, which is uh, when you turn off the car, turn on the car. That's what gives it the juice. This is for lights. And then obviously black is ground. So, yeah. So these two are hot. This one's ground. And this one is just for lighty lights. And that is pretty much all I'm going to explain on that. It does tell you somewhere on here what this is all about. Uh, probably have to scan that QR code. Oh, there it is everything in Spanish everything in English volt battery memory that's what yellow says it is power antenna blue oh yeah Wait, where's the blue um blues over here but I don't have a power antenna yeah I don't I don't have a power antenna so we're not gonna use blue um, it's a regular antenna so that's where it's gonna connect to and uh, let me go get that radio Okay, so I just mocked it up. Don't worry. I'm going to do this the right way. Um, but I wanted to make sure that everything works. There we go. Sound stream. We got sound. Let's mute that. All right, so it tells you all the wiring stuff up here. Uh, don't really pay attention to any of this because some of them are exactly what they say some of them are not it all depends on the radio and whatnot remove these screws before installation so before you mock it up make sure you remove screws any if in any it does have any so if it doesn't have any don't worry about it it's just a precautious thing but if it does have it like this one it will mark it somewhere but most radios do have this so be cautious um and going back to my roots here this is not like android radio where it's plug and play i got this from walmart so that you guys don't have to do that Okay, don't, don't do this. This is an awful way of doing this because you can mess up your wiring. You can burn up a lot of stuff. And this is just a safer and easier way to do it. So now that we know that it works, we can go ahead and connect all of these with bud connectors. So you can either do bud connectors, which is the easy method, or you can solder and heat shrink. So I'm going to do this method because it is the easier way and the customer is not paying me to solder. So the soldering, what it does is that it makes the makes this bulletproof. These may eventually corrode or let go. I'm going to still put heat shrink on top of them so that they don't let go. But 
it's still a good, good way to start. So all you need is this, that. You don't need a torch. You can use a regular lighter. And I don't know where my uh, cutters went, but I have cutters somewhere. Cutters slash crimpers somewhere. So I'm just gonna connect all this up and then uh, we'll go from there. And this is what it looks like all connected. Here's the other side. Obviously male and female on either side. You can mix and match them, but as long as they have male and female on one side and the other, you should be good. Now you put the heat shrink on one side before connecting it, and then it'll end up looking like this after you either torch it, use a lighter, use a heat gun, whatever. Heat is all it needs for it to shrink. That's why it's called heat shrink. You give it heat and it shrinks. So that'll keep it from moving, wiggling around, or even disconnecting, because as you can see, it has nowhere to go now. Um, as if putting uh, electrical tape. Now, most people would put uh, grease or something, but that's for something that would go outside. Uh, you can put grease connectors on this. I don't recommend it. Makes a mess later on. Uh, in here, inside, not needed. Outside, I'd, I'd opt in for it. So let's go ahead and connect all of these to those now that we got all of the heat shrink right here and uh, connect them together to its appropriate color. Like this orange is going to go with that orange. All right, so there it is. I'm not going to test it out for you guys. You guys can hear that it all works. Disc, radio, Bluetooth, everything is there. Um, he didn't want an extra dash kit, so we used the original one, and it kind of worked out. It's got a little bit of a gap right here and none over here, but that's as good as, you know, it could get. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Catch you guys next time. Peace. That's it for the Ford Mustang.